Hello friends, my name is Chetan Wadadia and today we are going to find how to find out terminating decimal without actual revision. Actually the sums I had selected from exercise 1.4 class 10 CBSE textbook. In that this questions are given so I had selected that but that will be this will be useful in all the standards without div division you can find out whether this number is terminating or not how you can do that let me tell you you just need to find out the factors of the denominator let me find out factors of 3125 so if you will find out factors so this is not divisible by 2 3 and i think 5 so this will be 6 2 5 again 5 1 2 5 again 5 2 and 5 again 5 5 and 1 so just you need to find out the factors of the denominator here the factors of the denominator or you can say factors of 3 1 2 5 is 5 raised to 5 so here if your denominator is in the form of q means the denominator is in the form of 2 raised to m n into 5 raised to m then you can say that number will be terminating so here it is in the form of 5 raised to 5 means 5 raised to m and actually you can write down 2 raised to the power of 0 okay if you are getting only 5 as a factor or only 2 as a factor or 2 and 5 both in that condition you can say the answer will be terminating if you are getting any other number other than 2 and 5 in the denominator or in the factors of the denominator then your answer will be non terminating here we are getting only 5 means we will get answer terminating okay so here we will get terminating answer now when they will ask you then ter terminate this and find out the decimal representation of this at that time what you need to do you need to make power of 5 and 2 equal by multiplying here 5 raised to 5 is there so we need 2 raised to 5 we need to make the power of uh, you can say denominator same so here 5 raised to 5 was there so we need to multiply 2 raised to 5 so what will happen let me show you what will happen so 2 raised to 5 in the numerator also so here in denominator you can take out 5 common and you can see that we got 10 raised to 5 so directly we got answer and or you can say the factors in the form of 10 whenever you are having denominator in multiplication of 10 directly you can put decimal without dividing so here also we are going to do that let me multiply 13 into 2 raised to 5 will be 32 so you will get uh, 13 to the 26 to carry 39 40 40 1 4 1 6 by 10 raised to 5 that is 10 okay 5 times 0 will come so your answer will be 0 0.00416 so without actually division we had find out the terminating form of this guys so with this way we can find out just first of all you need to check if the denominator is in the form of this either you are getting 2 either you are getting 5 or you are getting 2 and 5 both in that condition answer will be terminating if you are getting other than 2 and 5 then your answer will be non terminating let me solve this now factors of a i know 2 into 2 into 2 directly i can write 2 cube and 17 so here we are having factors in the form of 2 only so i can say the answer will be terminating what i need to i need to make the power of 2 and 5 same so here we don't have any 5 so directly we need to multiply with 5 cube and in numerator also 5 cube so here we will get 17 into 5 cube that will be 125 and take out cube common so 5 2s are 10 10 cube so now you multiply this 125 multiply with 17 let me do it here okay 7 5s are 35 
14, 15, 16, 17 and carry 1 and 8. So 5, carry, carry 1 and 2. 2, 1, 2, 5 upon 1000. So 3 decimal you need to keep. So your answer will be 2.125. So guys, this way you can solve. Let me solve this one so that you will be able to understand this more clearly. Now find out factors of 4, 5, 5. Let me do it. 4, 5, 5. So, first of all, I think we can do it with 5, 5, 9, 45, and 1, 0. I think with 7, we can do this 7, 1, 0, 7, and 21, so 3, 0. And 13, 1, 0. So, here you can see 64 upon 5 into 7 into, sorry, 7 into 13. So, we are getting other factors other than 2 and 5. So, directly we can say the answer will be non-terminating. So, we cannot find out in the decimal form of this directly. Okay, guys. So, whenever non-terminating is there, we cannot find out the answer. When it is terminating, at that time only we can terminate and show this. Now, here I want to show this question. Why? Because some confusion as arises in this one. Let me... If you will directly find out the factors of 15, you will get 3 and 5 in the denominator. So generally what happens, students will directly write down, we are getting other than 2 and 5, 3 also we are getting here. But, but first we need to reduce this. You can say 3, 2 za and 3, 5 za. Now you need to find out the factors of 2 and 5. Okay. Sorry, we need to find out factors of 5. So, that will be 5 only and it is in the form of this. So, here you will get terminating answer guys. So, 5 into 2 to make the power same. I need to multiply here 2. So, 4 will come here and 10 will come here. So, 0 0.4 will be the answer. Okay, and that this number will be terminating. So, first of all, you need to reduce this guys. Many times what happened, let me tell you. 77 by 70. So, here also same thing will happen. If you will directly find out, you will get non-terminating. But your answer is terminating. First, we need to reduce this. 7, 10, 7, 11. Now, you got 11 by 10. So, directly no need of doing this also. 0 0.11 will be the answer. So, this way you can solve this guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this, you can also join me on my free classes on Unacademy app. Guys, what you need to do, just you need to download the app, register with mobile number, select the course JEE NEET NTSC Foundation and use my code, referral code is Galaxy Coaching. For free classes also, you need this code guys. So, you can join me on Unacademy for free, but you need to use this code Galaxy Coaching. And for plus subscription also, you can use this code. So, you will get 10% discount in the subscription fees, guys. Thank you so much for being with me. Bye, guys.